morning. It is 520, just getting ready to leave for work. Today, we're going to continue working on that parking lot project. We're going to continue getting it ready, and we're going to pour some of the concrete as well. I have a doctor's appointment this morning, so I'm going to meet up with the guys at the yard and then leave and then come back and join them again. All right, I'm going to take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good job. It is warm and humid this morning, but they said uh, cold front's coming through today. It's supposed to really cool down. It's been in the 80s and it's supposed to cool down and be a high in the low 60s for the foreseeable future. So fall is coming and it's just about here. Morning, Jessica. How are you? Good. How's the coffee business? It's busy this morning. That's it's good. good. All right. He's going to come and work here when he can't do his uh, easy money anymore. He's going to come and work the coffee shop. November. Oh. Yep. I'm going to be an apprentice here at the coffee shop. Yep. 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 <laughs> My only job will be to keep the house blend full. I can handle it. I'm telling you. Whoa. Good morning, Ms. Z. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, and you? Good. I gave somebody my credit card and I didn't get it back yesterday. I got cash in my truck. I'll be right back. Just set my stuff to the side. I'll be back. All right. I got you. Every day. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Yep. We'll see you next time. All right. See ya. Okay. It is 554. Just pulling into the yard. I doubt anybody's going to be here. It's pretty early. Yep. I wanted to get here a little bit earlier today because I have to kind of gather my thoughts and give the guys instructions because we need different materials and stuff and I need to let them know where to go and where to get it. But they should be showing up soon. Now it is 6.18. I'm pulling back into the yard. The first time I pulled in, I realized I forgot my charger for my GoPro batteries. My doctor's appointment is at seven o'clock this morning. So I gotta let you know I got another job. Got another job? Yeah. When do you start? Uh, probably even until the end of the week. Where are you going? Uh, over by Indian now. Oh, on the road? Yeah. Right on. Thanks for letting me know. What up, bro? I need to do like five minutes late. I gotta, I gotta go, man. This isn't the day to be late. I know, I know, I know. I'm coming. I'm like, I know. I'm starting. I'm bringing because I have to bring it to storage today, so. All right, hurry up, man. Yeah, I am. Yeah, bye. Eric's here. You got my credit card? Did you go shopping last night? Tell me the truth. Yeah. The wrench is in here too, like the box wrench. Okay. Everything's in there. You can see where it goes. It's like two holes down. Okay. You can see the old mark. All right, I think we're set. I gotta go to the doctor. Like, I gotta leave right now, dude. So you know what's going on. Set all the forms, dig out the little areas, grade it. Marcel's going to get the big wire mesh. Put the mesh in, the thick mesh. And then we're gonna do speed dowels too. Did you get that text message? Check it out once. I gotta go to the doctor at set. I gotta go right now actually. Okay, so you gotta go to Z's and Schmidt's, Schmitz. and then that's the address to the job. Okay. ¿Qué tú estás diciendo? Yeah, ¿Qué tú estás diciendo? Yo puta cargar pin mejor andan. Cargar pin si yo estaba aquí ayer. Dude, estaba lloviendo, dude. It was pouring, bro. Wet. Chicken. Yeah, chicken. Chicken. I love me some chicken. There you go. Chicken, man.
back at home, just stopped at the doctor, everything went well. Autumn's leaving for college. Hi! Going to college? Yeah. Okay, have a good day. Okay. Bye. Autumn's doing really good. Ryan's doing really good. Kids are doing well in school. Everything's working out pretty, pretty decent in the fall here. I just need a change and I'm gonna get to work. You know, I'll mention this, this is interesting. Right now it's about 7.30. I scheduled a doctor's appointment early in the morning, seven o'clock as early as I possibly could. And what's interesting is, and a lot of employers will relate to this, uh, a lot of employees, not all of them, but a lot of employees will schedule their appointments for like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. So, there's the possibility that they won't have to work at all that day. <laughs> I just had to mention that. I've just noticed that over and over and over through the years. If you don't want to work, just say, I don't want to work. Hi. Oh, what a treat. I get to see you. Yeah. Making lunches? How many lunches do you make? Just two today. Only two? That's not bad. All right, I am back at the yard. I'm going to take the Mac to the job site because I think we're going to need a bunch of gravel there. And uh, this holds so much more than a tandem. It just makes sense. There's a load of asphalt in there now. The last load from the job, which I'll go dump right now, and then head over to the, to the site. All right, I'm just grabbing a quick load of gravel before I head to the job. I know we're going to need some, so I figure while I have the truck, I might as well grab a loader. Loader guy should be coming here. Here he comes. There he is. Now that's a loader. Our little skid steers are, they can hardly be called loaders <laughs> compared to these monsters. That's it, big loader, two scoops, just like Raisin Bran, and you're full. All right, I'm just pulling up. Looks like the guys are about halfway done grading in that first pour. That's good. Hey, Jay. This is a big one, huh? What do you think? You think we can handle it? I think we can handle it. I missed you at the yard this morning. I didn't even see you at the yard. You guys need me today or are you good? We need you. Oh, come on. I was going to go golfing. How's the machine running? Sounds like a champ. Like I'm glad it's back. Yeah. Uh, speed dials. I'm not worried about it. We got enough guys already. Especially when Mike comes back. I'm happy for him if he can get a better opportunity, you know. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start setting some strings, which is gonna be our next pour, which will be this whole strip along the building. I think I'm just gonna do four strips. And then we'll pour the approach last by itself. Should make it pretty easy. It's our second pour. I take you along the wall, and I'll just put this in two. Yeah. And then the approach, and then the approach will be last. We're just pouring that today, and then trying to get this ready. That's it. And that's just bowl float edge and no joints. Morning, Tino. How are you? Good. Is 
it good? Everything seems good? You want to check this out? Yeah. That string right there and that orange string, yeah. that represents where it would be. So you gained about three inches at the post. Okay. And you can see where it is there. You gained about three inches over there yeah, too. It so it's about three inches better. Yeah. It's really up to you. I mean, it's still on a pretty good angle, but it's not as bad as it was. See the old slab or the old yeah. asphalt? Yeah, that's all I can gain and maintain the proper pitch to the drain. I think we just go with that. I think so too. Right? Honestly. That's my biggest I mean you manage you managed before, right? Yeah. And it's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. Yeah. yeah. I don't wanna limit ourselves. Yeah. To being able to come this way. We were thinking about doing a little retaining wall here and then leveling this slab off because they store stuff here and then they come in with the forklift and it's a little bit of a pain because it is sort of a steep angle but we voted against it because he really wants to be able to come around this way too and it's going to make it a pain can't win can't get it perfect but we're going to do the best we can here all right so this area here is almost ready to pour you guys are putting the mesh in this is heavy duty Heavy duty six gauge mesh. Hey, it's not like the heavy, heavy duty rebar wire that was in the plug concrete. Yeah, I know. But this is six gauge. This is much heavier than the 10 gauge that we typically use. These red dowels that you see, they're called speed dowels. And I'll show you these. These are pretty cool. I like to use these in parking lots. And what it does is it creates a hole in the concrete where you don't have to drill it. So they have the bases, which you nail on or you can screw on to your form, your shut off form, or your, some of you guys call it a bulkhead. And then you take this piece and it slides on. Then you pour the concrete. And then when you strip your form, you already have this hole here. Then you slide your half inch steel. They got other sizes too. And then you slide it in there, it sticks halfway in, halfway out. Then you don't have to drill any rods when you're done pouring. So we're gonna put those every two and a half feet on all our shutoffs since we have several pores here and that'll hold the slabs together so you don't get any heaving up and down the slabs will remain even so some guy came here today he knew you we were working here because of facebook uh -huh. uh, the owner he's on facebook he came here just to see junior and he's disappointed he wasn't here really yeah yeah he didn't come to see me he didn't come to see you he didn't come to see bugs or eric he came to see junior wow right in all of our hearts I, know. I came in there and he was just like oh hey where's junior <laughs> <laughs> wow all right i gotta dig this corner down just a little bit it's a little high and then we're gonna finish off this form here and then we'll grade this whole strip here so that's the plan we're gonna pour that today that'll be our first pour in the morning tomorrow morning is that side and then tomorrow at noon we'll pour this half here up to wherever we have concrete to i have three trucks so wherever three trucks can get us through two we'll shut it off there and then we'll pour this strip friday morning and then friday afternoon we'll finish up hopefully Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't even order it yet. It's only uh, it's only a little after ten. Hey, Bug just told me he's going with Marcel. No way. For real. No way. Yep. And Daryl said he applied. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Man, I need a loader like that for real. 
<laughs> Don't you think, Eric? Yeah. For what, though? Just for fun, Eric. We don't need it. I'll come around there. I think we need a little, we'll start in that corner grading. Right. Come out so this Darryl's way. Gonna chase the magnetic Hopefully you're a little bit better than Daryl. Uh, usually I am a little bit better than Daryl. Uh -uh. Oh, you, you, come on. Yeah. Why don't you dump some gravel here? Out of the Mac, yeah. You got a full load? Oh, just dump your load right here then. Just, just do half for now then. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Hey, good morning. Hey, I got a noon. Recharger? Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, I need as much as you can fit on three trucks. Put them on top. Six bag, low chert air, microfiber, five inch slump, quarter percent NCA. What were you working on on a truck? I was just adjusting all the brakes. Done, oh, you're adjusting the brakes? Yeah. Uh, I saw you by the grease feeding, just rubbing your hands on the grease. <laughs> yeah, everybody. <laughs> yeah, right. No, yeah, I'm tired of it. When you hit the brakes, sometimes the air pressure, the gauge would go. So I readjusted them off. So we got the first pour set up, second pour set up, and then I have a string line for the height down the center here. Everything's going good. Concrete should be here shortly for this pour here. Just do some base ones. Are you doing base ones? I could, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not pouring base ones all winter. Oh I'm just not going to do it. You put three percent. Oh, I used to do that all the time. The builders do it. They get contractors that come in there for so cheap. Yeah. You don't make any money. Yeah, that's what I was just it's like. not like it's fun. No. Because the plumbers leave a few. Yeah. 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 Always. Hey, disconnect that trailer. Chalk the wheel, though. You want to take the trailer, too? Man, you guys are getting so lazy, you don't even want to crank the jack. Man, no wonder you're getting a big belly. You're like, that's too much work, Ryan. It is a lot of work, right? <laughs> Francisco was struggling in the morning. Just leave it. Just leave it. We'll take the whole thing. Oh, just tie it up. Just tie it up. Just tie it up. Thank you. Is that all for you guys today? Where is it? Uh, it's in Illinois. 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 Look. <laughs> Yeah, he told me straight up. He told he showed me what I gotta do, and he's like, you just gotta learn to like, you know, I'm just teaching you. Like, you're gonna go, you gotta have to learn. Man, how many vehicles have you bought recently? But I'm, I'm I mean, so you, you spend more money than me, <laughs> right? right? Yep. That's what you're supposed to do. All right, we just finished lunch, and concrete's gonna be an hour late, so we're gonna start grading another section out here while we're waiting, so we have some extra time. Yay, Ryan was 
real, real happy yesterday. I'll take you guys with me and show you how I disconnect the trailer. Something different. As you can see, I got the other machine loaded up because that's got to go in and get checked out. See, I got my cones out. Now we take the wheel chucks. One. Two. Now the trailer can't roll. That's it. Now it's all disconnected. Come on, My soon to be wife, dude. I don't think so. I don't think so, Tito. <laughs> All right, concrete's here. We're going to dump this out. The grade is actually pretty hard. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good, considering all the rain we had yesterday. Look at Daryl's boots. He's got my old ones on. Where's the other one? They're in the truck. Oh, I wore them all the other day. Good, perfect. perfect. Hey, I'm going to tell you this one time. This mesh has to be pulled really good. It's very, very important. Not to mention this stuff is very expensive. I don't want to waste any at all. Every square inch. Hi, how are you? Good, are you ready? Uh, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna let it mix a little bit more. Okay. About a five, five. yeah. I should mount the camera to the wire puller yeah. so I can review the film and make sure every inch is pulled. Yep. I know. Prison. Good. All right, one truck down, two to go. That doesn't really look like it went a third. Hey, give me your tape measure. That didn't go that far, did it? How many yards did you have? New guy? Oh, new guy. Right. It was crazy. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's not even coming out of the chute. Dude, Dude it's, you better put like 15 gallons of water in and come and scrape this because it's all stuck. It's like it's like not even coming out of the chute. Hey, mix it up a little more. You got to mix it more than that. I asked him for a zero slump and he delivered. Eric, give him the shovel. Here's your tape measure. Yeah, no 
Actually, never mind. I gotta see something. There you go. Oh no, it's been way better now. It's way better. It's just trying to get that hard stuff out. Yeah. See, feel it now though. Where are you? I had to let her clean her first oh, couple yeah. shoots because they were going to shoot the water bucket. all over the street. Go ahead, man. Let her rip. Let's go. Five more gallons. Look at those piles for you. Look at those. Hey, at least you got enough. <laughs> yeah, more than is it more than enough? Hey, put a quick gallon in there. Hopefully it'll keep coming out. Put a gallon or two real quick. It's just about not coming out again. Eric, I'm glad I chose the Bofo today. And you went to Puddle. Ooh! Ooh, I'm feeling! You call this 29, eh? If it was square? Yep. 29, that calls for 9.12 yards. We're gonna be really close. He's got nine and a half. If the gray's on, it's good. It's not working good for real. That's that one word. <laughs> I know. How's it going? Man, Juan was leaving us mountains. Man. Oh, look at Eric. All right, we gave uh, I gave your tape measure a proper burial. Oh, oh. oh we gotta try to keep the process off here. Oh, yeah. It looks thick over there, man. Look at by the felt. It's almost eight inches thick here, man. It's a little late for that now. Hey, if you run out, pow, pow. Victory style. If we run out tomorrow, we're just gonna have to saw cut and take the conquer back on. I don't know what else to do. I'll be shocked if he makes it. Cause it's thick over there. Thick, thick, thick. I already know you're about to run out right now, watch. I hear it. All we can do is see what happens, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me see how much they got. Uh, yeah. Oh, just, just go all the way up in that corner. Yeah. Right where the boss is with the wire hook. Did you ever hit anybody with a shoot real hard? No, that's why I'm trying to slow down, bro. Yeah, that's you got hard. to. That thing is so heavy. If it hits you, it's like, it's over. What is four suits, bro? It, it yeah, I know. Especially with all that stiff concrete in there. Yeah. So my backup plan, I've been thinking about this is we'll cut that on an angle right there where Daryl's standing over to the first joint where Marcel's standing where this joint will come across that's my backup plan right now it's just a parking lot so it's not 
you know, it's not of utmost important that it's not perfectly pretty. And, and honestly, nobody would even notice that. It would look like we meant to do it. We still got a little in there. Come on, baby. Go the distance. Hey, we're gonna make it. Yes. You still got a fin and a half. We're good. Yeah. So this parking lot, it's gonna be a bull float and broom. Hopefully, if it's not set up too much back here. That took way too long to get down because of that second driver. Nope, it's good. It's ready though. Just right, right now for a bull float and broom. I just need somebody to work the edges right now. It's ready. So we're gonna bull float it one more time here and broom it. Eric's gonna come and work the edges with, with me. We'll edge it one more time as we go and that's that. Parking lots are easy money. Tomorrow in the morning, man. Ooh, it's gonna be hoodie weather tomorrow. It's supposed to be 40 degrees Friday morning. Oh, <laughs> you can have that. Yeah, you got that orange ski mask ready? I got it. Uh, it's almost ski mask weather for Eric. Yes, Remember his orange ski mask? Yep. He wears it when it's like 50. <laughs> it's cold. 50 is not cold there. Hey, what we poured looks so small compared to what we have to pour. Right? We got a lot left. Eric, you want to take over so I can start brooming? Oh no, no sir, not here. What? He said, are we gonna leave the tools here? Ah. No. If you put it in the back, yeah. No, I don't wanna leave the tools. The strikeouts can stay, but all the hand tools, put all, put it all away. Is it, this ain't the best spot right here. Marcel, can you pull pins for me? Yeah. It's a pain in the butt. Pulling the broom back. I gotta change the battery. Yahoo News and TikTok. And TikTok. I'm calling your dad. I'm serious. <sighs> this is what we call easy money. That is. This is real easy money. I know. <laughs> Bugs, you saw cotton in the morning? You saw cotton? Bugs likes the saw cut. I like the saw cut too. Hey, nobody finishes edge starting here. No, nobody finishes yet. I mean, it's edge, but you got to finish it. Eric finished it to here and then he stopped because he had the bow float. The red one, you're getting lowered? Yeah. Oh, on time. With the big wheels? Yep. What size? 24. Mm. Wait, I thought you sold your 24s. I bought another one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. why did you sell the ones you had? Didn't like them. You didn't? I liked them. Ooh. Wow. Very new. I'm not touching my truck until I trade it in. Oh, okay. And when I, and I get the new one. The Shelby? Oh, that's my dream. My dream truck is the F-150 Shelby. Nice. Oh, it's so nice. I saw one the other day, a uh, gray one, four-door. 
Yeah, those oh are so God. nice. And they, they're low already too. Yeah, they're nice. This truck has everything. You don't even got to put nothing in it. I know. Yeah, that's my dream truck. Hey, if you guys work really hard for me and I don't give you any raises, I might be able to get that Shelby. Brian, every time I'm working, yeah, Brian, Brian, every time I work, I'm be like, I gotta work harder for the boss so you can get his new truck. <laughs> yeah, right. Duro, you doing it? What? Work harder for the Brian can buy a Shelby? Yeah, I'll give you a ride. <laughs> no. Not if, you, if you buy me a pickup, I will. <laughs> oh. You already have a pickup. Yeah, you already have a pickup. Oh, Daryl wants a Daryl wants a company oh, truck. Can you imagine? Can I get a company truck? <laughs> we'll sign uh, contract. Not yes, today. today. Not today. Come on. No way. Let me just have your truck. You go oh, buy a new one. That's Junior's truck. Oh. He wanted a Disney. Normally, when I say easy money, you know it's kind of hard. Buffalo in a room is really easy money. <laughs> it is. Easy money. Thank you, Pete. You gotta make money, go wash this out real good. All right, we're done. All right, let's go. You're leaving? Oh, bathroom? I'm leaving, I'll see you in the morning. Adios. All right, Tito, see you in the morning. Yes, Thank you. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios, adios. So we're on schedule. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought we would finish by Friday, but we won't. It's going real good though, I'm happy with everything. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios.